Now, let's solve the following. At ito ay random post sa ating FB group na Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Dito tayo sa merong square root. Number 18. What is the sum of square root of 32 and yung and niyan plus sign yan siya kasi sum of 5 square root of 18. Unang-una, itong nasa loob ng radical sign ay hanapan natin ito ng factors or i-factor out natin ito in such a way na yung isa ay perfectly may square root natin. Si 32, nahin natin kung i-divide natin ng 2 and that is 16. So, si 16 ay perfectly ma square root natin to. So, therefore, this is the same as square root of 16 times square root of 2. Ito namang isa. I-divide din natin ng 2. Gamitin natin ito. Itong si 18. 18 divided by 2 and that is 9. Si 9, perfectly may square root din yan siya. So, we have square root of 9 times square root of 2. So, ang ginawa lang natin yung nasa loob ng radical sign ay pinafactor out lang natin in such a way na yung isa ay perfectly may square root natin. So, pareho tayong merong square root of 2. Square root of 16 and this is 4. Square root of 9, this is 3. Yang 3 na yan ay i-multiply natin sa coefficient na 5. So, 5 times 3 and this is 15. So, dito we have 4 and square root of 2. Wag kalimutan si plus sign. So, we have 15 square root of 2. So, pwede na tayong mag-add kasi pariho na yung square root of 2 dyan. So, yung square root of 2, kopyahin lang natin yan. So, pwede na natin itong i-add. Itong 4 plus 15, and this is 19. Kaya ang sagot dito, 19 square root of 2, letter D. Next, dito sa number 19, since sa choices, yung nasa loob ng radical sign, ay walang pariho. Meron tayong 5, 6, 3, 2. So therefore, pwede tayong mag-solve the shortest way. Hanapin lang natin, i-rewrite muna natin, 2 square root of 12 plus 4 square root of 27 minus 3 square root of 75. Ganito lang yung shortcut. Lahat na itong nasa loob ng parenthesis. 12, 27, 75. Hindi yan lahat ma-divide ng 5. Hindi rin lahat ma-divide ng 6. Hindi rin lahat ma-divide ng 2. Maliban dito sa letter C na lahat ma-divide ng 3. So therefore, ito na yung sagot. Now, kung yan yung shortcut natin, ito naman yung detalye dyan. Doon muna tayo sa loob ng uh, radical sign. Itong 12, hanapan natin ito ng fact, mga factors kung saan yung isa ay perfectly ma-square root natin, which is yung 4. So, we have square root of 4 times 3. Or pwede naman, ganituhin na lang natin. Square root of 4 times square root of 3. Next, 27. Ma-divide natin ng 3, that is equal to 9, which is yung 9 ay perfectly may square root natin yan siya. Next, ganun din ang gagawin natin dito sa kabila. So, obviously, this is 25 times square root of 3. So, square root of 4, this is 2. Square root of 9, this is 3. Square root of 25, this is 5. Ito ay i-multiply natin sa 2. So, this is 4. At huwag kalimutan yung square root of 3. Next, itong si 4 times 3 and that is 12. At huwag kalimutan yung square root of 3. 3 times 5, this is 
15 again, huwag kalimutan yung square root of 3. Now, pwede na tayong mag-add at yung subtraction natin. Next, yung square root of 3, kopyahin lang yan siya. Next, we have 4 plus 12, that is 16. 16 minus 15 equals 1. So, coefficient niyang 1, pariho lang yan sa square root of 3 lang. Kaya, ang tamang sagot dito ay letter C, square root of 3. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.